What's up everybody? It's Josh from JRS Diecast Customs here again. Today I'm coming at you guys with a little diecast haul video. We got three of the main brands. We got Auto World, Matchbox, and of course Hot Wheels. Um, it's just a few things I picked up during the week. Nothing crazy. Some main lines and I found something that when I was going through my stuff today that I didn't even know I had which is pretty sick. So I'm gonna get right at it. Okay. Start off with the Auto World that I found today at Ali's Bargain Outlet. Talk about getting a bargain. Bargain buster. Boom. We're going with the GT40. What year? 1965. That is a beautiful casting. Beautiful car. I love the uh, car and driver from like back in the day in 1965. I thought that was super cool. Got this for like $2.99. I went into Ali's today and there was a ton of stuff out. A ton of stuff for Christmas. They were like loading up like crazy already. So I walk in, I found a ton of Racing Champions Mint stuff, which is kind of cool. But this was way cooler. And this was in a sealed case. No Ultra Reds, unfortunately, of anything. But I was more than happy to pick this up and walk away with this. So that I got today. The rest of the stuff I got throughout the week. And a lot of the stuff you guys have probably already seen already. A couple more Chirons. Everybody likes these. I figured, you know, they're good for trade bait. They're cool for customs. I might be trying to do like a wide body one, like a racing spec version one, like GT3 type with a big spoiler on the back and stuff. I think that'd be pretty nifty. I'm gonna do a video soon for some customs that I've done for you guys, because uh, I have a lot of cool stuff that, well, I think it's pretty cool. And uh, stuff that I feature on my Instagram and stuff like that. Um, a lot of JDM cars, a couple of uh, domestic cars, like a couple Corvettes, stuff like that. Uh, I think you guys will really dig them. A couple of the Skylines have some really slick paint jobs. I got a couple of Porsches that are really nice too that I'm going to be showing off here soon. Um, but yeah, a couple of Chirons. I, got a, I think I'm up to like three or four or five of those. <laughs> I give them a couple of them away. Um, they're cool to have. You know what I mean? Why not? Um, we're going to stick with Hot Wheels for now. Let's see over here what we got. We're going to talk about red editions for a minute. Um, sorry, I moved the phone here. Give me a second. There it is. All right. Um, we're talking about red editions for a minute. I don't know if you guys heard about that Zamac edition vet that came out, but I was lucky enough to find one of those. Ooh, camera's over there. It's the one on the bottom. You can definitely tell it's Zamac. I thought that was slick. I was pumped to find this. I'm a big vet guy. Vets, Porsches, JDM. That's what I'm going for. That's my kind of stuff. So if I find a cool vet, I'm buying it. Cool JDM, I'm buying it. Cool Porsche, I'm buying it. Of course. Um, I thought that was super cool. I don't know what, it's a, it's a chase edition of some sorts. They didn't mention anything about it. They never, you know, Mattel, Hot Wheels never talked about releasing a chase red edition or anything like that. I first saw this on Lamely Group, which I'm sure many of you guys watch. If you're watching this channel, you've probably seen Lamely Group. Um, really neat. I mean, and everybody loves that Spectra Flame Red. Beautiful. They've done so many Supers in Spectra Flame Red, and I'm a huge fan of those. Because how can't you be? It's a gorgeous color. It's like cherry red almost. But yeah, gorgeous. I was thrilled. That one's going on the wall, for sure. Actually, they're both going on the wall, because I got them both, baby. Next up, we will go <laughs> we'll go with this thing. Went to the grocery store the other day, and I found me some Datsuns from the Satin and Chrome series. So I snagged a bunch of Datsuns, not all of them because I'm not like that. I grabbed like three or four of them. There was a lot there. So I grabbed like three or four of them and then I grabbed one of these bad boys. What is it called? Gotta go. I almost called it the Poop King. That was from Matchbox that came out this year. Great name, Poop King? Like who does that? Um, gotta go. I thought that was kind of neat. I have a bunch of the, like I said, the Datsuns. I got a Superbird and I also have the, um, the Firebird from this set as well. I thought those were the coolest ones. I should have grabbed a Chevy too, because I'm kind of a fan of those. Those are kind of neat as well. But I gotta, I, I've been lately, like I said, I've been buying more of the JDM type stuff. I'll stick to my JDM, my Vets, and my Porsches, because with all that, that's enough. I get enough stuff like that. Um, but next up, we're gonna hop to, uh, we're gonna hop the Matchbox for a quick second. How cool is this little guy? Subaru Sandbar. I thought this thing was awesome. I have some plans for one of these. I'm going to change the wheels to those little skinny or those tiny real riders that they put on some of the, uh, like the, the old Skyline wagon and stuff like that. I'm going to pop some of those on there and slam it down. I think that'd be really, really cool. So I'm going to do one of those up for sure soon. Um, I'm going to go back to Hot Wheels again. So like I said, I had some things that I didn't even know that I had. I was going through my Silverados because I'm getting ready to sell a couple of my Silverados here because I have, I've found a lot of these and I thought that was pretty sweet. So I bought a bunch of them and, um, so I'm going through and I had five of them here. So I lined them all up and I'm like, whoa, something's a little bit different here. Let's see if I can get all these in the camera for you guys. 
I'm sure if you can if you can see you'll notice something's missing from one of these. That guy's got no windows in it. I thought that was pretty sweet. I've only found a handful of errors, probably, I don't know, five or six. I don't look for them too often, but if I see a cool one, I'll get it. Like I have a No Tampo Skyline, the white one with the, I think it's the Yokohama Deco from last year. Or no, it's early this year. God, it feels like so long ago. Uh, the cases are just flying out. They just, so it goes by so fast. But uh, I thought that was super cool. No windows on that. It looks better without the windows because I hate the yellow windows. I said that in the last video. So this one looks better without any windows. But I was getting ready to sell a lot of these and I was like, holy cow. I'm glad I didn't get rid of that one because that one's freaking sweet. I was pretty happy about that. But yeah, that's my... Oh, I got this little loose guy too. Went out on lunch break the other day and I've seen this one around a bunch and I was like, man, that's a good looking car. That's a good looking car. That's a good looking car. I'm going to buy it this time. Dodge Challenger Drift. I think they did a great job on that. The deco on it's fantastic. The color is very pretty. Pretty. It's very pretty. It's just a good looking ride. I think they did a great job on that one. Not a huge fan of the casting per se because I don't like the huge wheels in the back. I wish they were the same size. I wish they could start doing some American cars with the same size wheels. That'd be awesome. I mean if they could do the Vet with the same size front and rears. Camaro same size front and rears. Mustang. Actually they've been doing the 2018 Mustangs like that. But I think those would look pretty good with the same size wheels. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. What are, what are my favorites? The highlights for the week? Gotta go. This one for sure. And definitely the Ford GT40. Big fan of the GT40. I just thought that casting was awesome. It's just so cool. With the race deco and stuff on it, that is the neatest thing. It's probably from a race. It's probably like an actual deco from a certain race. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more, though, because it's... It's definitely period correct. It's really neat. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Like I said, soon I'll be po posting up a couple videos of like some of my customs and stuff like that because I think I have some pretty neat stuff that you guys would like. Um, let me know about down below if you'd like to see something like that. But like I said, thanks for tuning in and stay tuned because I'm going to have some cool stuff coming out soon. Peace.